Hello everyone. Welcome to another update from the server runtime sec for the week of the 29th of November 2022. So this week, um, there's been a change in technical direction. So I'm trying to align myself with the work that's going on in the remote development team. Uh, so they've essentially created an architectural blueprint which uses GitLab agent for Kubernetes. Uh, so the work I've been trying to do this week is set out to figure out whether I can incorporate server runtime as a part of GitLab agent for Kubernetes. Now there's a drastic difference in architecture between the original server runtime and GitLab agent for Kubernetes. And therefore I've been trying to play with the whole architecture to make it, um, in, in, to incorporate server runtime into it. Uh, and as a result, I managed to add some basic provisioning of an IDE using Rails, GAS and Agent K. Uh, the other thing I've done is added the ability to inject secrets uh, and spe specifically DLS secrets so that we can access the IDE over uh, HTTPS. So I'm going to very quickly walk you through the flow of what's going on. Uh, so uh, the first thing, Agent K is the com component of, um, of GitLab Agent that's installed on the customer's premises. And it communicates with CAS, which is essentially runs close to Rails and has uh, communication with Rails. Um, so essentially, the, the workflow works as such. So Agent K communicates with CAS uh, to get the configuration. Um, and, and CAS essentially gets the agent configuration from Gitly. Um, now, once that's done, the part we've written, uh, what it does is it starts a long polling loop. Um, Agent K starts a long polling loop with CAS uh, to receive requests to get workspaces. Um, what I've also worked on is enabling Rails to be able to talk to CAS uh, to request for a new workspace. So you can request for a new workspace on your project. And then once you do that, we fetch things like the repository details and fetch the dev file from the um, from the project from Gitly. And then once we have the dev file, we can actually parse the dev file, generate the corresponding Kubernetes manifest, and then using server push, we push that to Agent K. So Agent K sitting now in the customer premises can then go ahead and start provisioning those Kubernetes um, manifests or, or, or resources that need to be provisioned for the IDE. Uh, so the first thing we do is create a namespace, um, also create DLS secrets, and then finally, once that's done, we apply all the configuration changes that, that actually leads to the ID being created. Uh, now, this the advantage of this architecture is, is the fact that now server runtime can be in all places where CAS and Agent K are already installed. So if, you, if, we, you know, if we work with a customer who has Agent K installed, we upgrade their instance of Agent K, now because this is just another module of CAS, we can then use server runtime. Uh, so I'll quickly demo this. Uh, so I'm in Rails, uh, so Rails, uh, and I enable the CAS client. I then uh, make a request to provision an IDE, passing in the project, the branch, and then the event, which is provision. So if I go ahead and do that, that then um, starts with the provisioning process. Now, if I go into Kubernetes and say get namespaces, you can see that this namespace has been created, and then a number of resources um, in that namespace will be created, including like service and ingress and, and deployment and things like that. And I can see it's up and running already. So I can actually go ahead and I can go back to my browser window and quickly look at this. And because I have enabled HTTPS support and injecting DLS secrets, I can go ahead and do this from my browser. So I can say HTTPS, my workspace name, workspace.localdev.me. And then that would then uh, show my IDE up. Um, so these are, so this week really spent a lot of time doing some foundational changes. I'm hoping that I'm able to incorporate other things such as authentication and communication from Rails uh, into, the, into the server runtime and the IDE and, and GitLab agent for next week. Thank you.